Hey everyone, Matt here from Docs Running. Today we're gonna to do a comparison review or should I upgrade episode of the New Balance Fuel Cell Super Comp version three versus version four. So version four is the newest version. We've got a written review up of both these if you wanna see that. But I thought I'd compare them to help you decide, hey, which one of these might work better for you? Version four has gone up about 20 bucks, so it's now 250. Version three, you can find discounted heavily in a lot of different areas. So again, if you're trying to figure out which one of these might work better for you, should you go for the one on sale? Should you go for the newest one? I'm hoping this video helps you make that decision about which one's gonna work best for you. So first talking about specs, the men's size nine, women's size 10 and a half, we're gonna do unisex sizing. They do have women's sizing in this. I just can't remember that many numbers. The version three is gonna come in at 7.6 ounces or 230 grams for men's size nine, women's size 10 and a half. Version four is gonna come in at 8.1 ounces or 230 grams for the same thing. So difference in weight, this one is a teeny bit heavier. The stack heights are exactly the same, 40 millimeters in the heel, 36 in the forefoot for a four millimeter drop, exactly the same, no different there. But everything has really been changed. Some similar geometries here, but midsole foam is totally different. Not totally, but more, more true PIVA foam over in version four and the uppers have been changed. What hasn't changed is again, it's these are still both, I would say, the people's marathon racer. It's a great long run shoe. It's a great easy run shoe. It can handle this because the plate, the soft foam work together really well that it's not super aggressive, which does mean neither one of these are great at doing really fast runs. They are great at marathon efforts. Version four is the one that is more responsive. This, the bouncier PIBA foam here does have more responsiveness here. So I've been able to push this a little bit farther versus version three, I really couldn't do that. It felt best at long run efforts. Even trying to push it into some like half, stop, half marathon efforts, it really struggled. Now I know there's plenty of people running and fast in this shoe. I am not one of them. So if you want the more responsive ride, version four is gonna be better, but they are not super aggressive. They're best for long runs, easy runs, and marathon pace runs. You're going to kind of struggle a little bit if you're trying to go any faster than that, unless you do have a tiny bit on this one. Geometry, fairly smooth, really nice toe off. Neither one of these are flexible. They do have very stiff carbon fiber plates in here that are offset by the softer foam. I will say there is a teeny bit more snap here, but what it's really noticeable is how the midfoot gap feels. So the midfoot gap is much less noticeable in version four. In version three, it's one of the major things that kept you centered despite the soft sole. So it feels like you're sinking into this thing which does keep your foot centered combined with the large sidewalls despite the softer foam sidewalls are not as large in version four if you don't like those version four might be better if you do version three might be a little better i always felt like my foot was weirdly stable in this shoe despite how soft it is but what these both have is that your hips will get really really worked they're super soft so i've done long runs in both these i've done like 14 in this one 15 in this one is my longest and both of them my hips felt really worked and tired so yes your foot might do okay but your hips are going to be really worked unless you've got an overall stable your overall stable lower extremity so just be aware that's something to pay attention to even though there's some mechanisms that might add guidance these are state these are neutral shoes not stability shoes that said they're one of the few shoes that have removable insoles in them for super shoes so if you want to put an orthotic in here i've had several people use an orthotic in version three and actually have some success with it just be careful because you're adding a stiffening agent to a shoe with a stiffening agent already i have put an orthotic in version four it didn't seem to bother me too much so if, again the people's shoe if you need an orthotic these shoes actually might work well just be really careful putting orthotics in super shoes moving on upper is also really different so the upper was extremely high volume and wide in version three i had a really hard time locking this down i got a lot of hot spots and some rubbing here if you have a higher volume foot and you need more room version three is actually going to work really really well for you version four still has more room than on average the upper is just a little bit more traditional it doesn't have as much stretch as version three does and tends to hold me a little bit better still has just a tiny bit more room throughout the length of the shoe both these come in a wide as well but it just felt a little more streamlined fit they also have really really nice heels the heel counter is slightly flexible in both them both very rounded so if you have some heel issues these might be too stiff for you but a lot of people again they round out and it does really really well both are good options for me personally i do like version four better just because it goes a little bit faster but for those with wider feet wanting a tiny bit more centered ride in a shoe that is very much neutral and it's on a big discount in a lot of places version three might be better so hopefully this helps you make that decision helps your decision making process with that about which one works and work better for you check out our written reviews if you want separate information on both and as always hope this helps